It's a state law. Our investigative team found out schools are breaking on any given month. We're talking about fire drills. You expect your school to do them, but as CBS North Carolina investigates Jonathan Rodriguez explains, some of them simply aren't. Let's do this. They're just kids. Fingers out of your nose, sweet body. Fingers out of your nose. But when that alarm sounds and those lights flash, students at A.B. Combs Elementary School in Raleigh know exactly what to do. It's checking that emergency lights are working, hallway doors are closing automatically. We're checking to make sure that everyone is exiting the building quickly and efficiently and safely. And these kids did, filing out one by one and waiting for the all clear outside the school. We would never ever want to even dream that something like this would happen. But if it did, we would all be prepared and we'd be confident. Not just a good idea, it's the law. Every school in North Carolina has to do one fire drill a month. But CBS North Carolina investigates found out some schools are skipping those drills. Every month, principals have to fill out this form, laying out when they did the drill, how it went, and how quickly students got out. The more you do it, the more repetition you get, the quicker you can get out. So we asked for every school's paperwork from last year in Durham and Wake Counties to see who's doing the drills. First, Durham. Mike Webb is assistant fire marshal in the county. We want to make sure that these kids are are safe. But based on the documentation we compiled, 17 elementary schools, five middle schools, and nine high schools had at least one month with no recorded fire drill. We took the issue to the head of risk management. Does that concern you? Why aren't these schools doing their fire drills? It does drills? concern us. I'm, we're glad this is taking a little bit of attention because we, we need to do a better job of making sure that all the schools are doing it. We, we're glad to say 94, 95 percent, but in safety, you've got to really be close to 100 percent. It's state statute. We've got to be safe. And what's the penalties if not? Good question. Um, I think the penalty will be that our schools are not as safe. That's, that's the one that matters to us the most. We try to explain to the principals, this is your responsibility. You're going to be the one that's overly liable for it. And based on the documents we dug through, some schools were missing multiple months, like Durham's Fayetteville Street Elementary School. We caught some parents after class. What's at stake? Uh, lives. That's what's at stake. Children. I don't feel like that should be something that should be neglected. Most of them are just the ones and twos, but those that are missing more are really a concern. Then we checked Wake County schools and talked to risk management there. We're happy to say that we don't have that problem here. The problem is documents show otherwise. So you believe that you're under 100% every school is done one every single month? I am. I believe, believe that. Again, we found 23 elementary schools, 9 middle schools, and 12 high schools with at least one month with no documented drill. Some schools like Apex Elementary School even wrote in that their last drill was two months prior. Well, that has happened when they might be the last couple of days of the month and there's inclement weather. I mean, fire drills have to be done. Once you miss it, you can't make it up. The law is clear, one drill every month. And several Wake County schools had months with simply no mandated documentation at all. We're going to try to do our best we can to make sure so those parents can be confident we're looking after their children. Preparing for the unexpected. It's the law, but more importantly, it's child safety. Of course, a big part of this is simply record keeping. These documents are supposed to be readily available at the superintendent's office, but it's taken us multiple requests to get them, but we've compiled them all together. You can check out your school on our website, WNCN.com. Guys, back to you. All right, Jonathan, thank you. And we're going to follow up with the school districts in the fall to make sure the drills are getting done. If you have an issue you want the CBS North Carolina Investigates team to check out, email us at investigates at WNCN.com.